Hello everyone, welcome to Lemon Ginger. Hope you're all doing fine. Today's recipe is Tamil Nadu style fish curry or fish kolamba or meen kolamba. It's a very tasty recipe and you can have with chapati, rice or any other flat breads. So let's see how meen kolamba is made. If you're here for the first time, please do subscribe to the channel Lemon Ginger and share with your friends and family also. So let's start. So to a bowl, I'm taking here half a kilo of fish, curry cut pieces. It's better to use boneless pieces. So any fishes that you like, you can use. To it, I'm adding salt, one teaspoon chili powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. And I'm just applying these powders all over the fish pieces and keeping it aside to marinate for 30 minutes. While we keep the fishes for marinating, I'm taking a small jar of mixi and to it goes one onion, one tomato, both are roughly chopped, one green chili, six cloves of garlic and half an inch of ginger and I'm going to blend everything really well. So once blended it should be like this. So I'm going to keep this aside. Now set the stove on medium flame and I'm placing a cast iron pan. If you have non-stick that is also fine. And to it I'm pouring 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil. And I'm going to fry this fish pieces. So shallow frying is fine. You don't have to deep fry these fishes. So after two or three minutes, just flip it over. So always fry the fishes in different batches or according to the size of your pan. So here, all the fish pieces are fried really well. And now I'm keep moving it to a plate lined with kitchen tissue and moving it aside. Now to the same pan, pour one tablespoon of vegetable oil. If there is not enough, you have to pour a little more. And to the oil, putting half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, six to eight of shallots, and one medium onion, both really chopped well. And I'm stirring it until the onions turn translucent. There goes five green chilies. And once the onion is cooked, I'm adding one small tomato. That is also chopped into really small pieces. Adding a little salt. And once the tomatoes are cooked, it's time to add the chili powder. One tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder and one teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'm stirring it for around two to three minutes until the road taste of all these powders fade away. Add a little curry leaves. And once the road taste have gone, I'm adding the blended onion, tomato, green chili, ginger and garlic. And keep stirring for around five to six minutes for the blended ingredients to get really cooked. Now, now I'm going to add half a cup of water to the blender and I'm washing off all the residues in it and pouring it into the pan. To it I'm pouring tamarind water which I had made before that is half a cup of water and one inch ball of tamarind. I poured that into the mix then salt as needed and I'm stirring everything really well and keeping it to boil for around two to three minutes. And once all the gravy is really boiled, it's time to add the fish pieces, the fried fish pieces. Adding a handful of cilantro into it. And gently mix it without breaking the fish pieces. To the gravy, I'm adding quarter teaspoon of fenugreek powder. You can add it before also, before adding the fish. And now mixing it really well and boiling it 
for three to four minutes. Now I'm adding a little more cilantro onto it. And that's it. You can switch off the stove. And yummy fish columb is ready. You can have this with chapati, rice or any other flatbreads. It's so tasty. You have to definitely try this out. If you like it, please comment in the comment section below. And please share with your friends as well. So until you hear me in the next video, stay safe you all and wishing you all a very happy weekend. Bye bye.